Nice to meet you. Congratulations. Um, you look incredible. This is fantastic. Um, and your show is the talk of the town. It's wild. It's wild. Uh, stereophonic, I'm obsessed with the show, but the thing that I'm obsessed with... Uh, is my work. Is your work. <laughs> I'm obsessed with all the... Where's your envelope, by the way? It's Where's... my thing. I, would, I dropped it already, so I folded <laughs> it up and put it in the microphone. Like, tell, me, tell me what it is like, because walking into that theater, that set comes alive, so the costumes come alive, the fact that the reel-to-reel -reel moves as soon as he presses record <laughs> on the board. Yeah, he's really pushing a button that controls the reel-to-reel. -reel is he really? Yeah. yeah That's it, not triggered no, by stage? actually controlled. So how did you figure yeah. this all out? I mean, it's simply I mean, the most daunting task in the world. We have an amazing sound designer, Ryan Remery, who's, and, and Justin and Will, and, you know, Will has spent a time or two time in a recording studio. studio. Yeah. So, um, you know, things like that and the kind of wiring a lot stuff is their yep. domain. Um, but it's incredible. It was incredible learning curve for me. I didn't know anything about sound studios. You didn't? No. I mean, I'm, you know. What was your research for that? You know, Dave Grohl made an incredible documentary about... Muscle uh, Shoals. Uh, no. Yeah, no, he made about uh, Sound City. About oh, that. Sound City. Yeah, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, he yes. Bought the new That's board. right. He bought the board. And uh, and I was like, I want to know everything about that board. So I literally, like, frame by frame watched that documentary. Oh, wow. Um, he's, a, you know, he's a wonderful documentary maker. And, yes. And, and I just, I was like, what is that board? What is... And it was, it was you know, it was like the beginning of the pandemic when this started, so I had some time to really just like learn about, you know, as much about that stuff as I could. It's such a visceral experience, that show, because you really feel like you get to know the band and you get yeah. to know the songs, yeah. um, but you also get really, and this is much uh, attribu attributed to you, you get you feel like you are there. Yeah. You feel like you are in that life. Thanks for saying that. It's really incredible, and the audiences are going nuts. It's wild. It is wild. Yeah. It's like they're an actual yeah. band. And we truly, truly a year ago, we were like, sure hope we can get a console for the set. You know, it just, Unbelievable. We, we were so happy that we it got, uh, we had a production that yep. got canceled during the pandemic. Right. Really looked like it wasn't going to happen. We were all really sad because it's such a beautiful show. And um, so, you know, a year ago, we were so thrilled that Playwrights was producing it, and we were just were like, sure hope we can, you know, yeah. Get cobble this thing together and put it on its feet. So the journey that it's had is yeah. insane. It's a lot. Uh, David, I'm going to have you Great. Uh, sign your Great. Um, poster right there. Amazing. There you go. Where the hell is my poster? Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under S. Right. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Really, really Thanks. extraordinary. It's David Zinn, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Thanks. Woo!